Hello and welcome to the third video in this mini-series of C FAQs. This video here is going back to the Hangman playlist I did, I think already in the 12th video or 13th video, there's a little mini-series of four videos with a little Hangman game um, in the Learning C series. Now, I must say, um, I've had a few questions about the Hangman game and how to do various different things. That Hangman game is really as simple as um, was possible just to use. I'm looking at the code of it here. Um, the techniques that I've been looking at in, in those very few videos of the series. So there were no pointers covered, no functions covered, nothing like that. So the game itself is extremely bare bones. And please don't take that as the, the this, this code here as the perfect way to implement a fully fledged hangman game. Um, like I said, there's no functions or anything like that and everything is squashed into the main. It's purely there as an example, or at the time was an example to show that you can already make a working sort of little game from the very few videos that had been done up until that point. Anyway, without further ado, this video I want I had a question from someone um, wanting to read in these guess words from a file. And it's actually very easy to do, but the problem is that I want to do it still in a way that is appropriate for what was uh, learnt up, up until this the point of this video in the Learning C series. So we're going to do this in the most bare bones and simple way possible. That means without functions and you'll see a couple of things I'll do which will, will be simple but probably not the best way of doing things. Anyway, so Without further ado, let's start changing this code so that we read in these words. I've made myself a text file here of just five words, just as a quick test. And then what we're going to do first of all is we're going to take this... Uh, oh, no, we're not. We're going to go up to the top here. And the problem is we don't know, or we, we, we know how many words we have in our file. But let's say we don't really know how many words they're going to be that we're going to read in through the file. We have two options in C. One is one that you should really use but it's complicated and one is the option that we're going to use and that is with this guess words array here we either want to do what's called dynamically allocating the memory as we read the words in so we maintain a list of uh, pointers they're called to our character our words as we read them in and dynamically allocate the memory as we read in each word or we simply declare a maximum amount of words that we want to read in, which is much more simple and much more appropriate probably to um, where we were in the C series going through this and making this hangman game. So at the top of the file here, underneath include time.h, I'm going to type define, and I can't remember whether we'd already got this define in the C series at this point or not. But if not, don't worry, all it means is we're defining something and I'm going to say max num words, which is going to be the maximum number of words that we're going to read in in this program. And I'm going to say 2048, simply, because it's a lot. And I'm sure that nobody's going to do this with a longer list than that. And all this define means, you know, you come across them later in the C series, but simply wherever we use max num words in our code, it will be replaced with a 2048. To the same token, I'm just going to define also the max word length also that we're going to read in into our um, array of words and we'll allow up to, let's say, 64 characters here. So anything more than that, any word longer than that won't be read in. I'm not sure even how many words are longer than 64, if any at all, certainly in the English language anyway. And again, wherever we use this in the program will then be replaced with a 64. So now we need to go down into main and we need to have a look at our guest words array. And we need to change this now because we're not containing the words that we had here. So I can delete those out. And we no longer need the brackets on the end here. And what we want to do is simply tell the compiler how much space we want to store here. Well, we want to store our 2048 words and each word will be up to the length of 64 characters. OK. So the next thing is, before we look at reading the data in from the file, you'll remember on this line here, we got our index from hard coding in the six, because we had six words. Well, now we don't actually know how many words we've got. So what we'll do is we'll make here an integer, and we'll call it words read in, and we'll set this to zero. 
And we're going to do after this words read in declaration here our reading in from the file. But before we do that, I'm just going to drop the words read in here so that we get our random index uh, from the total amount of words read in. And now without further ado, it's time to read the text in from a file. And I'd recommend you have a quick look in my... I've just done, I think, about five or six videos ago, a little mini section on reading data and writing data to and from files. Um, I'll explain what it is here, but if you're coming straight for already from the early part of the C programming series, this might seem a little bit complicated, but it doesn't actually really matter. You just have to use uh, the code that I use here, really. It's not very, very difficult. So we make what's called a pointer to a file, and that's simply like literally you're pointing with your finger to an airy area in memory, and that's going to point to an area where we call a, f a function from the the library called fopen to open a file and to use fopen we simply type the name of the file we want to open which in my case is text.txt and then we type an r in speech marks to say that we want to read the file if we wanted to write we would write a w and if we wanted to append text well, then we would um, write an a so this has opened our text file in the memory or has opened our text file and we've got a pointer to the start of the file and we're saying we want to read the file. The next thing we need is we're going to make an array of 64 characters size called input. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to read our input from each line or our, our words from each line in the text file into this input. And once we've got this input, we're then going to copy what's in input over into um, the uh, the guess words array and you'll see why I'm doing it this way around in a minute because say we have more than one word on a line well we're only going to copy then the first word on that line into our guess words so we don't get any problems with um, spaces and things like that in the program because I can't remember how robust the hangman program is not very robust is my feeling so the way we do this then and I think we've already seen this um, f gets uh, by now in the series so we use our f gets and now we get our f gets on our input with our and we'll say 63 here to leave uh, the termination space and then we'll have our p to file like so so while we're actually getting information uh, read in from our file we've stored if you imagine the first word into our input array and now what we want to do is use s scan f to actually copy from our input array. We want to give the format that we're copying, which is simply the first string, and we're going to copy that into guess words, and the location will be at words read in, which at the start obviously is naught. So if you imagine this array here, which is a 2D array, then it was simply saying we've got 2048 boxes if you like that each contain space for 64 characters so we're saying at box 0 the first box put these 63 characters in that 64 character space and then all we need to do once we've done that is we need to just increment words read in and what I'll do is here is I'll just add in a little print f here just to see what we have so we'll so we'll say input is this and we'll also put the guess words as well, shall we, as well. So guess words at that location is this. And I'll put a new line. And we want input and we want guess words, words read in. And we want words read in the integer first like this. OK. So this then just prints the information out as we're reading it in so that we know that we've got it. And that's actually all we need to do. The only other thing we need to remember to do is once we've finished with our file, we need to actually close our file. So we call fclose and then p2file. And that's it. That's closed the file. What we can also do here is just do a print f and do total words read in like so just for a little bit of completeness and I'll just take a copy of the words read in okay so that's that done then actually um, 
and that should have read all, all of our words in from the file. Now there's one thing that I haven't done here and in fact I'm going to put in a little test here and say if p2 file equals null and this basically says if we don't have a pointer to our file it hasn't managed to open the file for whatever reason so we're going to say printf failed to open file like so and then what we'll actually do is already return and quit the program there out of the main function if we haven't managed for whatever reason to open the file so all being well this should compile which I'm just going to do off screen and it did and now if I just drag in the terminal here so you can view it and now I'll just run the program so you remember on Windows you don't need the dot and the forward slash so FAQ3 like so and now you can see here that it's read in hello Apple Minion and Contagious and also reveal on the bottom here I'm just looking here scanned input reveal okay ah there was no new line on the end of reveal of course in the text file I'll just um quit the program here and just explain a little thing there that I hadn't thought of when of course it's scanning in it's also going to be scanning in the new line character on the end of here and on that recent terminal output here there's no new line on the end of reveal here so what is actually saying is it's read in the five words but when it's come to print it out it hasn't actually obviously scanned in a new line here so there's new, no new line character appeared on the end of the scanned line here like this but we have inside our array anyway the reveal, the contagious, the minion, the apple and the hello so just to test that now then we've got the game actually up here and I think pretty obviously it's contagious so I'll just put the uh, oops I thought I was running the program there I'll just run it again okay so it's actually picked contagious again so we've got the C the O the N the T the A the G the G the I the O the U and the S and you can see there that um, it says we've won because we've pick the word. So that's it really, it's not very um, difficult code uh, and that's uh, in a very simple way how you read the wor uh, words in then from a file to use in the hangman game. But I will say again the this hangman game here itself is I'm feeling a little bit guilty about it now because I wanted very quickly in the C series to write a little program so you could show already that you'd learnt enough to uh, make a simple application and game. This is no way a fully fledged, even approaching decent hangman game. Um, the game quits when it's either won or lost. It doesn't ask, do you want to play again? It doesn't say, do you want to do um, a different variations, some multiple words, or anything like this. Uh, it doesn't ask you, say, to enter the hangman word and then somebody else has to guess the word or anything like that. So it doesn't use any functions, everything's inside main. So it really is there just as a very bare bones, simple example of how you can start writing little programs very early on in Learning C. Anyway, I hope that's helped and thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.